we shall reflect on the life of Saint Mary Magdalene. The Gospels all accord Mary Magdalene a unique place among Jesus' followers. Her surname probably owes its origin to a birthplace, a town called Magdala near Tiberias on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. According to the ancient and very plausible tradition in the Latin Church, Mary, the sinner, is synonymous with Mary of Bethany, the sister of Martha and Lazarus, and with Mary Magdalene. This Mary, who is called Magdalene, was freed from seven devils by our Lord. The sinner lovingly anointed his feet, and according to St. John, she was Mary of Bethany, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened spellbound to his every word. The Eastern Church, however, venerates three distinct persons named Mary. The Lord's most ardent and loving follower, Mary Magdalene, stood with his beloved mother at the foot of the cross, witnessed his burial, and was the first to see both the empty tomb and the risen Rabuni on the Easter morning. Indeed, it was she who was sent by him with the good news to the other disciples, a commission that earned her the title Apostle to the Apostles in the early church. Catholics revere Mary Magdalene as a pattern of the contemplative life and even of conversion. She probably died at Ephesus, but the French legend tells of Mary, Martha and Lazarus coming to southern France and converting the province district.